January 26th was a milestone in Bessemer City as city, county, and state officials came together to celebrate a new beginning for the old Osage Mill facility. Wind Development is leading an adaptive reuse of the 126-year-old mill building with plans to transform the space into 139 apartments for workforce housing along with commercial space. We really like to do business in North Carolina. We really do. Bessemer City has opened us, uh, opened to us with open arms been very supportive um, and that really matters to us as we look at different states and cities to do business the business is hard enough we don't need our public partners fighting against us we need help and this is what North Carolina and, and the county and the city have been able to accomplish um, it's just been wonderful Bessemer City Mayor Becky Smith said bringing the project to fruition was the result of years of hard work the restoration of this facility is the rebirth of a vibrant downtown and a new chapter in Bessemer City's history. The Osage Mill will not only provide a positive impact downtown, but on the entire community as a need for new housing continues to grow in our region. One of the individuals Smith said played a key role was Senator Ted Alexander due to his work with Preservation North Carolina. The building had sat unused since the mill closed in 1995 and had fallen into disrepair. And so I'm excited to see uh, what uh, is going to happen here in Bessemer City uh, as a result of this project. So my hat is off uh, to all of those who have persevered, have taken the time, have worked together for the various kinds of tax credits, the housing tax credits, historic tax credits, uh, economic development, and all that, that goes into it, downtown revitalization, all of it. Gaston County Board of Commissioners Vice Chairman Bob Hovis, who formerly served as mayor of Bessemer City, talked about the partnership between the public and private sectors to breathe new life into what was once the hub of industry in the city. The money that, that this company, this building, brought into this community was its lifeblood. And we're seeing it transform today to bring more vitality into this community, to provide residents, to provide homes for people. And it's gonna turn around and add the tax base back tenfold over with what it brings, especially into the vitalization of our downtown. We're very fortunate to, that Wynn has come in at the right time, at the right moment, to allow this project to move forward on a great scale. All I can say is I'm very proud of the council's vision and these, putting these people together to make this a, a great opportunity and probably the largest single investment in downtown Bessemer City for now and probably in the very near future. The mill was built by town founder John A. Smith when the population of Bessemer City was just 500. The adaptive reuse construction project is estimated to take two years, according to Wynn officials. Communities have history, communities have legacy, and it's important to grab that history and go forward as you build what is the fabric and fiber of your community. And this project is a perfect example of that, a perfect example of holding on to something that's important from your past moving it to the future in a way that will benefit this entire community. So I congratulate you for that. This is a perfect example of building reuse, building repurposing, rehabilitation, moving forward in a way that will advance the community, make a difference, and be transformed in for Bessemer City. When complete, the new Osage Mill will provide housing for an estimated 400 residents with new jobs to come as a result of the commercial portion of the project. Reporting for Ion Gaston, I'm Adam Gobb.